Hello, I'm William DeLong here with Motorsports and RVs. I'm going to give you a walk around tour on the StarCraft Travel Star 207 RB. We'll first walk around the outside. I'll point out some of the uh, features and benefits of the trailer, then we'll go ahead and head inside. Uh, first off, this is a fairly light trailer. It's a hybrid, being that it's got uh, tent material on the front and the back. Uh, weighs in at close to 4,000 pounds, so pretty much any mid size SUV with a V6 in it is going to tow this pretty well. Obviously, a half ton would do that much better, but uh, your Jeep Grand Cherokees, um, Honda Pilots, vehicles like that's what this is designed for. You can see you've got a beautiful fiberglass exterior to the trailer, which is real nice, uh, high end. It's got aluminum framing to it, which helps keep it light and gives it a lot of strength also. You've got aluminum wheels, which is nice. You've got tandem axle, so it's gonna tow nice and straight. Power awning with a nice LED light strip underneath it which you can see there, and uh, just a push of a button and the awning's in and out. Real nice. Two-year warranty with the StarCraft trailer. That's um, about one more year than what you'd get on most trailers out there. So that's uh, uh, the company standing behind what they build. They feel comfortable enough in giving it that extended warranty. And um, part of the reason for that is they've been building trailers for close to 50 years. So um, it's definitely not their first rodeo. They've been doing this for a while and uh, they feel pretty confident in their product. So um, moving up front here, got a uh, storage bin here. Trying to give you as much use of storage as they can everywhere possible in the trailer. That heads back inside. Uh, it's got this nice little catch here for the door. And you've got a radius style door here as opposed to square. Much stronger setup and, uh, and better fitting. So coming around the front here you get your first look at the uh, hybrid idea. This is a uh, tent material that StarCraft's been uh, working with for years. It's called their AquaShield material. It comes with a seven year warranty on the material itself. You'd have to uh, feel this to appreciate just how strong and solid this material is. It doesn't feel uh, uh, cheap like a lot of the, the canvases are. You can definitely tell there's some quality behind this and it actually has some breathability properties to it to help on the uh, condensation on the inside. It'll actually breathe a little bit um, so that you don't get uh, the condensation on the inside. And I'm gonna show you on the back how easy it is for this to go up and down. It's basically set up on a cable system. You kind of see the cable running through here. Supports up to 1,100 pounds, and you don't have any need to put bars underneath this. So when you get to your campsite, real easy to put this up and down. I'm gonna show you that on the back side. Wander around the front here. We've got two, uh, uh, two and a, or, uh, five gallon propane tanks and uh, a battery rack set up for two batteries. Four stabilizing jacks, one on each corner of the trailer. So they didn't uh, you know, try to cut costs and just put two on the back, which some trailers will do that. They'll put two stabilizing jacks on the back and expect to just use the front uh, jack as your third point to hold the uh, trailer stable. You've got a DSI automatic lighting um, hot water heater, six gallon with uh, 16 and a half gallon uh, hot water recovery rate. Outside shower, which is real nice with hot and cold water. And you've got another uh, storage compartment here. Again, just giving as much storage as they can, any possible place uh, they have it. The uh, fresh water fills right here. Fresh water capacity on this trailer is close to 30 gallons, along with the gray and the black tank. They're both about 30 gallons, so you've got pretty good uh, uh, fresh water capacity and also storage while you're out dry camping. Um, this is back of the uh, back of the fridge venting there. You've got 30 amp power cord here, which will run your uh, AC and uh, all the other uh, parts of the trailer. Full size spare, which is nice. And uh, this right here, this is actually a uh, a rack for the um, outside barbecue grill that comes with the trailer. And then there's a gas uh, quick connect to plug that in to run the grill off of the propane system. So I'm going to show you how the bed comes out right now. Pretty simple. I like to tell people, uh, you know, you get to the campsite, maybe a thunderstorm rolls in and you've got to set up uh, the trailer. Uh, it takes you about five seconds outside to get this, to do everything you need to do on the outside. And then you're inside continuing to set this up, which I'm going to show you here. Nice uh, locking setup here. So you let this down. And again, those cables support this, which you can kind of tell they're running right through here. 1,100 pound capacity. You pull down this rain skirt on the outside. No Velcro to work with. This is all uh, 
permanently sealed here. So all you're doing is taking this little rain skirt down around the outside just to help uh, with the rain. So with that, we're done outside at the campsite. Now everybody heads inside and um, I'll show you how the rest of it sets up. You take your uh, pole here. This will be a little hard for you to see, but you'll get, the, you'll get how it works. There you go. You can connect that right between those two uh, screws there. That makes sure that it's centered up. Push that out, plug that up in there. Pull the bed out from its stowed position. And there you go. That's the bed set up. So really simple. Uh, the reverse of that, you just fold the bed up, put it back in its position, pull the pole out, go outside, put it back up. It takes total about 30 seconds to put this up and back down. So a really quick uh, uh, time there. In here we've got uh, the bathroom. And in the shower is that uh, um, gas grill that goes outside. And that's not uh, burners, it's an actual grill for grilling uh, hot dogs, hamburgers, steaks, things like that. Um, toilet, you've got a nice porcelain toilet here. Which you can see here, if I tap on that, you can tell it's not plastic. Um, that really helps with keeping the bowl clean over time. The uh, less expensive trailers out there will uh, typically have plastic toilet bowls. And when you're cleaning those, they can get scratched. And then once they're scratched, they just continue to get dirty. So uh, you've got the sink in there. This trailer has LED lights throughout the inside, um, which is really nice to keep the uh, power consumption down, not be burning up your batteries. You've got a full-size uh, RV stove and oven here. Nice countertop area here, some counter here, the microwave. Huge sink, and this is a cutting board that you can use, but double sink, You've got the pull down faucet, which is real nice to help rinse down the sink. And then uh, when you need more countertop space, you can take that cutting board and put it right on top here. Um, really cool front end of this. You've got the U-shaped dinette. This makes into a, uh, a bed here. You put the table down, bring the cushions in on top of the uh, table. And you've got this area here, actually has a scissor couch. So by the time you set that bed up and that bed, it's almost like one huge sleeping area. If you had a bunch of kids with you, I mean, you could sleep five, six kids here easy and they'd feel like they're just all in one big area. The bed up front is actually uh, closer to a king size bed. Um, it's uh, not exactly a king size, but it's, it's, uh, it's pretty good size. Um, this is a heated mattress pad that comes with the trailer. You have one for the front and the back. And uh, for that to run, you've got to be plugged in or running a generator because this is going to draw you know, a bit of electric. But that'll help uh, keep things warm. And again, like I said, this material here put a lot of design into this uh, to help it not um, create moisture droplets on the inside if you're in just that uh, type of uh, humidity and temperature situation. Uh, this, this does pretty well. And like I said, seven-year warranty on it. Um, from that, I've got uh, the cabinets here, which are, uh, are uh, screwed and glued together, as opposed to just being stapled, which the staples is a less expensive way to put RV cabinets together, and uh, staples will come apart over time. So this is a pretty uh, time-proven system, again, with the 50 years of building these trailers. You know, they've got it pretty dialed in. We can set up. Back here, um, the fridge. This is an eight cubic foot fridge. Extremely unusual to see this large of a fridge inside a uh, hybrid type trailer like this. So uh, it's uh, compared to a six cubic foot, which is what you typically get. And that's part of their 50th anniversary that they put together with a two year warranty, the larger fridge, uh, the nicer sink, uh, some of these different um, uh, features. Nice big closet here with a hanging rod in there or you could use as a pantry if you wanted. And uh, I've got central AC in the trailer and um, 78 inch tall ceilings in this, which is nice. I'm about six foot tall and you can see there's enough room here for, uh, for a six foot person to walk around without banging your head, which is nice. So that's the uh, Travel Star 207 RD. Uh, again, I'm William DeLong here with Motorsportsland. Uh, come on down, take a look, be happy to help you out. Thank you for your time. Let motorsports land guide you to the dream.